Blanchard, along with Dark Journey, along with Tommy Young, the referee in the ring, going up against Ricky Morton of the Rock and Roll Express. And with all great main events, a lot of times there's animosity. And you've got to say it's here because it wasn't too long ago. Robert Gibson had a shot against Tully Blanchard. Ricky Morton tried to help out, and then he was attacked. And you know that situation right there. There's a calculated risk anytime you come into the ring in a situation where you're not in the match, and that's what happened to Ricky Morton. I'm sure he hasn't, uh, I'm sure he hasn't forgotten that. Ricky Morton, Tully Blanchard, two of the premier athletes in the world of wrestling. Not only does Tully Blanchard have dark journey, he has James J. Dillon at ringside, and that's got to be an intimidation factor. Looking at Ricky Morton, Tully Blanchard's got a lot of things going for him. And as I say, his personal private secretary, administrative director of his company there at ringside. He is the world champion. Ricky Morton has got to come to him, got to put the chair, shoulders of the champion down if he's going to win the title. And Tully Blanchard's in the driver's seat. And, and let's not forget he's one of the four horses. Yeah, he's one of the four horses, so that means if Tully Blanchard, something happens to him, there's always J.J. or Dark Journey to try to help out, and if something happens there, then there's three other guys. Tony, you, you weren't implying that we would do something underhanded to help him keep the title. We're going to see a, bit, a little bit later on in this program something about the four horsemen collectively, and we'll hold our comments until that time. Headline. Blanchard comes up with a foot, but Ricky Morton holds on to it, and now gets him up with the atomic drop. Blanchard to the ropes, and a right hand on top of the head. Ricky Morton and Tully Blanchard down on the floor. You may not like this tactic, but it's been a very successful one, and Dark Journey wants to call timeout. Well, Ricky Morton is really, really a great athlete. He, he was not blessed with the size of, let's say, one of the road warriors or doesn't possess the awesome power of a Nikita Koloff. He uh, doesn't really have a, uh, a flashy, unorthodox style like uh, an American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. And yet, uh, he, he's managed to be very successful in his ring career. He is a world champion. I think really his greatest asset is, uh, is his speed and his quickness. And, that's really one of the things that's gotten Tully Blanchard where he is. So most of the time he has uh, to give away a height advantage or a weight advantage uh, to his challenger. And really on this occasion he's being met by someone of approximately the same physical stature. He's really ace in the hole is also his speed stature. A reversal, Ricky Morton, the quickness, and a good slam that time. Got a two count and Tully came out raking him across the eye. Blanchard. I guess in his career in the NWA, it's hard to imagine Tully Blanchard without a title. He has held numerous titles, all major titles in the NWA. A slam once again by Ricky Morton. And he missed with an elbow. Blanchard up in time. Tully trying to get to his feet. Now he staggers in the corner. With Dark Journey down at ringside. Turn him on. Tully goes to the middle turn back home. And he comes off. The elbow right below the chin that time. He wasn't got out of it. The plenty, maybe a little bit of Tommy Young. What are you complaining about? Maybe the pipe? I really don't think so, Tony. Uh, with the ring wear that the rock and roll uh, wear to the ring with all the scarves around there, it's very difficult to grab them any place without looking like you're grabbing one of the scarves. I think. Uh, I think we have to be a little bit objective about this situation. Okay, I would agree with that. There are a lot of scars tied on them. As Ricky Morton trying to get out of this, Tully Blanchard continues his assault, and we'll continue with the match right after you watch this. The most spectacular. There is a rule dictated by Tully Blanchard Enterprises. And J.J., you're looking the other way. And that is, if you do not beat Tully within the time limit, you lose. And, of course, Tully Blanchard realizes this. Is maybe Ricky Morton was holding on to him right there. And Ricky Morton being out on the floor is not helping his cause at all. The Dark Journey likes to choose him. Finding that clause in the contract first for him is, uh, is really very fair. Tully is putting his title on the line. He's putting an added $10,000, says I'm the very best at what I do. If you win the title, there's a $10,000 bonus in it. So really, Tully Blanchard is putting up a whole lot each and every time he goes out to defend the title. And uh, there should be a risk for the challenger. And the risk is that if you don't get the job done, if you don't beat him for the title, it does go down in the record book as a victory for Tully Blanchard in the, in the light of the fact that he retained the title. 
I think that's important. And there's no doubt about it, over the last six months or so, there's been no wrestler with the win-loss record of Cully Blanchard. That's Quite right. like it. I mean, he is on top of the list. Back they go to the ropes. And Ricky Morton right now, maybe taking out a little bit of frustration on Cully Blanchard, not necessarily wrestling or trying to pin the man, but trying to hurt Cully Blanchard. He's really hurt down on the floor. There's a lot of people, Tony, that feel that Tully Blanchard uh, really lacks intestinal fortitude, that if you get in there and hurt him, he'll lose his guts, and that's the way to beat him. But uh, I think a lot of people have made a big mistake in assuming that that is true. Tully Blanchard is a lot tougher than people give him credit for. And now he has, I think, a shoe from Dark Journey that he dropped conveniently on the floor. Tony, I missed that completely. Well, Ricky Morton didn't. No, nope, no, nope, she's got both shoes on. Oh, I think the camera picked that up very alertly. Uh, she, she did have both shoes on. Well, she certainly did right there, but still, the end result is Ricky Morton's in a lot of pain. There's a big smile on Dark Journey's face as Tully Blanchard pounds away with the knee. And Morton on the floor now, right at the feet of Dark Journey, and J.J., you just innocent bystander back there. Really not, you're letting Dark Journey Encourage Cully at ringside, or you just kind of standing back? Well, I feel that a beautiful young woman like that uh, would have to bring out the best in anybody, don't you think, Tony? And certainly she has to be an inspiration uh, to Mr. Blanchard. That's uh, really one of her strong points. There's no doubt about it. Dark Journey certainly has had an influence on Tully Blanchard, and Blanchard trying for a pin maybe right here. But too close to the ropes, Ricky Morton. And now Morton trying to get to his feet with a blow to the midsection, right to the chin that time. And still Ricky Morton too winded to continue the assault. Both men staggering to his feet. I noticed Tony the Dark Journey never takes her eyes off of Tully Blanchard for one minute. She really, really knows what her job is. Oh! Ricky Morton caught him in the, the patented gourd buster used so effectively by Arn Anderson. Tully Blanchard's in real trouble right here. And he's in the center of the ring also. The fans love it. As Ricky Morton maybe should jump back on him right here. You let Tully Blanchard get up, you're in trouble. But that's what happens. Blanchard gets up. Morton measures him, nails him right in the head. Again, Ricky Morton. And Tully Blanchard. Spills him right through the ropes, but Morton jumps back quickly right up on the turnbuckle. You let Ricky Morton get a jump on you, he will. Flying body press from the corner. Did not get the count. And a drop kick right on the shoulder. JJ up. And James, I know you felt that as you go spilling down towards the floor. Blanchard over the top. That's a disqualification right there. You're right, Tommy Young calling for it. Over the top rope, disqualification. Still, the fight is on, though, between Morton and Blanchard. This match is over. Blanchard wins by disqualification and retains the $10,000 and the world television title. There he is, Dr. Over the top rope, Tommy Young says to Ricky Morton. 